right, guys. Preparation for the championship always in deals doing appearances. So today is Saturday and practice actually starts tomorrow, but I'm gonna bring you guys along with the journey a little bit. And we're getting, we just set up, of course, the Polaris truck with the Polaris boat. And we're about to do an appearance here at Greeson where they sell naturally Polaris. They're going, it's gonna be pretty fun. They got they're gonna have a grand not a grand opening, but a uh just appreciation for their customers. They're gonna feed them. I'm gonna be here, get to interact with a lot of people. Are y'all gonna drive out of way today? Yeah. You are? Oh man, how far do you think you can make it until the cops catch you? 50 miles before they catch you? That's awesome. That would be pretty good. I probably wouldn't make it two miles riding that thing on the road. What's the biggest fish you've ever caught? Show me how big he was. Can you show me? Was he like this big? Like, like, like this big? Or was he like this big? Huh? I think he was more like that, that big. put it in my bag to try this week at the 2019 Forestwood Cup. I even took it down to the pond yesterday. I did a little doctoring on it. Jitterbug, my man just talked about the jitterbug. And these are my, these are my, like they got their own suitcase, like own suitcase along with Mr. Jitterbug, my froggies. That's all I'm showing. All right, guys, I just got through uh, rigging my rods. Practice starts tomorrow. We actually got four days of practice. So you guys are going to journey through me uh, with these four days. I'm going to try to talk you through my thought process. Yes, there's $300,000 on the line, and there's no point system. Like, there's nothing. Like, we're, we're, we're not shooting for the championship because we're actually here at the championship. So you guys know me enough you know i hate the statement that says i'm gonna swing for the fences i'm gonna swing for the fences eh, i swing for the fences every day i go out there in my thought I, whether it's going for a 12 pound limit that's swinging for the fences of the end goal so every day i go out there i'm swinging for the fences and what I'm about to do is explain to y'all a little bit about what happened when I was here pre-fishing. So my pre-fishing while I was here, actually while I was fishing, it got to be about one o'clock, two o'clock, and I just kept feeling my batteries going weak because guys, I am covering a ton of water. You're gonna see that the next four days. We're gonna be on that trolling motor and we're gonna be on it hard. So in order to prepare for this tournament, uh, I've never run lithium batteries. So I started doing some research, uh, got in contact with a few different companies. Uh, of course, number one, you, you hear about some lithiums catching on fire, uh, overheating, uh, just that when they go dead, they go dead. Uh, a lot of them go dead at 80% when they're almost 80% uh, burnout. That last 20%, they won't kick in. So. I've been extremely cautious. I've had decent luck with the, like say the AGMs, but my problem is once you're on them hard one day, it takes a long time to recover. Lithium batteries recover, you know, depending on which brand can recover in an hour and a half. Some of them may take longer, but the recovery time is, is shorter. So guys, I'm gonna show you the batteries that I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, right off the bat, Lithium batteries are gonna run anywhere from $1,200 to $1,600 per battery. So I found this company and I'm like, ah, let, you know, let me call them up, let me see what, cause these were in, in lithium batteries, these were almost half the price. I called them up, talked to them, and you're looking at 
whatever, $5,000 to install cranking batteries, batteries in your boat, you know, your three trolling motor batteries, you're looking at five grand, five grand upgrade. So I saw this company and I'm gonna go ahead and show you, Miller Tech, Miller Tech Marine and Battery. I called them up, said, hey, give me your, give me your spiel. Let, let me know what your, what, why is your battery the better than anybody else's battery? And after talking to him, guys i instantly it wasn't about the price not even though he's half the price it's incredible so i'm going to tell you a few key highlights about this battery which sold me on the battery number one these have a overcharge and undercharge heat protection plan so which means these are actually fire proof fire proof you don't have to worry about if it overheats or underheats because it's got built-in protection to to refrain from doing that these are actually fireproof. These are 100 amp. This is a cranking battery, a cranking battery that's got 1150 cold cranking amps. This battery is not gonna go dead, number one, because the quick charging, your engine's gonna charge it anyways. So let's talk about the cup. You got a BMS board, which is 20% bigger. And what he was telling me is, is that say if your battery's 100 amp, okay? It's a 100 amp battery they put a 100 amp bms board in it okay well his he went 20 percent more and put a bigger board in it these weigh 32 pounds always heard it and lithium batteries are the way to go check them out 10 percent off uh if you hit the link the first two weeks you can buy these batteries they ship them straight to your house uh and if you click the link in the description it'll give you 10 percent off of these batteries and when you're talking four different batteries that's a huge saving guys huge saving so i gotta get to work i'm not going to show you unbolting and bolting these back in but miller tech marine battery starting batteries miller millertech.com sorry for the long commercial Day one's about to begin. I know y'all want that sausage biscuit for me, huh? You want to eat that sausage sausage biscuit? Well, we can't be be on the water till 625. It's early. I'm up. It's still dark. I'm excited. We got four days of practice, which is a long, long day. Long time to practice for any event, much, late, much less a lake this small. So we're here at Lake Hamilton. And this is the FLW Championship, which I qualified th for by actually winning Angler of the Year. So definitely qualified for it. And, you know, I don't know much about this lake and how it fishes on a, on a Sunday. But I know this lake has a ton of boat traffic. So not sure if we're going to put in a full day today. But we're going to go out there at least this morning before everybody wakes up. <clears throat> All right, it's official go time. $300,000 on the line. We're fishing for three days. Well, fishing for seven days. We're actually practicing four days. So seven days of work for $300,000 begins now. day one and you guys have seen me pretty much stay shallow it's 11 o'clock in the afternoon and i have zero in the boat i did shake off one up underneath a dock that i didn't really i don't even think i had my camera on it didn't feel big anyways but you know here we are 11 o'clock i went out and tried a little bit deep i didn't show you that but 
I don't know that the bluegill, now I'll tell you about the bluegill. The bluegill, I went back and checked some of these bluegill beds this morning and the beds are still there, but they're about half full. What I mean by that is like, there's say there's 30 beds there, 15 of them are clean and still have brim on them. And the other 15 are kind of silted in. So I know we're on the back side of the bluegill spawn. I mean, I, I've only seen one or two fish cruising and that's not good so could be area of the lake uh i don't know but midday report is i've been shallow not looking good i know there's going to be fish caught shallow but i think i'm in the wrong area of the lake so i'm going to just go out and <clears throat> go to a different area of the lake whenever you're whenever you're in an area of the lake and you give it a good shot it's best to just do the extreme opposite and go to another section of the lake. some excitement got him up underneath the chin mm. hey buddy I don't even know if I can grab oh that was going Oh crap. Oh, that broke the rod. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's try it this way. I ain't lifting you in the boat. Hello, buddy. Man, that that puts a little bit of excitement in my in my day. <laughs> uh. I actually I have started running some of these points with the underspin right here and uh, I actually started catching some. Now they've all been spots. I just put my, just put the video back on and naturally the next place I pull up, I catch a gar, but. That's a mighty fine house you have right there. Hey, I'm talking to you. Look at that house right there. I reckon these geese all live in there. Hey, how much you pay for that house? Oh, one's answering me. That house. That's, that's just crazy. Their lawn is about as good as my carpet inside my house. And they're over there eating on it. I say probably six million is what I would think that house is worth. Golly. All right, here we go. Day two is about to begin of practice. And yesterday I quit a little bit early, uh, got a little frustrated. And a lot of times, I'm just telling you what I do. You, you know, everybody's different. But when you start developing a bad attitude and you put in a decent, I, I, I'll, I end up quitting. Now I don't, I'm not a quitter, but I just come in off the water just to so my attitude wouldn't get bad anymore because a lot of what I kind of saw yesterday and you guys saw me it's so hard when the fish aren't biting to get y'all a practice show you fish catches which in this case we're shaking off a lot of fish it's so hard to get y'all a uh, you know a good feel for what's going on so yesterday was just getting a feeling you pretty much i didn't see as much as i'd like to show but it was just getting me a feel so i went shallow for a long time didn't do as well went deep and after i went deep i just 
I ended up catching a few spotted bass. I caught some on an underspin and that was pretty much it, nothing. My whole day accounted for a few little spotted bass. Now they could be players, maybe, towards the end of the, you know, if, if in the tournament, if I go shallow for largemouth and, and I only have two or three, they could fill the limit possibly, but they're not gonna be a player for winning this tournament. So I'm at a totally different area of the lake uh, right now and I'm just gonna go out again shallow. It's first thing in the morning. Uh, we're not leaving until later on in the morning anyway, so it's hard to get a really early bite. Uh, so I'm gonna go out and try shallow in a totally different area of the lake this time. And let's see what the cards do. Right, thank you, bye-bye. I got one. Right on a GPS mark too. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Well, pre-practice did pay off, I reckon, if you want to look at it that way. I had one GPS mark right there. We got bit on the other one. But he's not any size though. That's the that's the frustrating thing. Basically, it's just grass out here. This is hydrilla all out here. And naturally, you see I'm throwing a speed worm. <clears throat> this morning, the current's actually pulling, which I would have figured it'd have these fish just stacked, stacked up more than they are. <sighs> but, you know, beats yesterday morning, right? Yesterday morning just royally sucked. And then this morning, we at least, that's two bites. I didn't want to set the hook on that one, but it's two bites. I just shook one off right there on the wacky worm. It's, it's looking good. Oh gosh, he came back and got it while I was wanting to turn. Look, see if he comes. There he is. Oh, come and get it, boy. Come and get it. Come and get it. <laughs> that same fish hit me three times. Oh, that's so cool. I got to mark that in, but as you can tell, we're up here in the upper end. You see how clean it is? And I haven't been able to get all these bites on camera, but it's super clear um you know i'm up here you can i've seen some cruising i've got a few bites on docks i've probably had maybe 12 or 15 bites today so far so that's <laughs> compared to yesterday and remember us talking yesterday like change areas we change areas and voila here they be uh -oh. He's looking interested. He's looking interested. That oh, you little punk. Oh, oh, man, I wish you guys could see that. The little one I just shook off, he came back and the big one was about to eat it. He's following him again. Oh, gosh, that little one. Look, come on, big boy. Mm. See if that one will get it again. All right, that bigger one's over there now. Huh. That's so funny, man. I'll tell you one thing. You, you take this sun and calm conditions away from me and put boat traffic here, it's not, it's not going to be this, not that it's easy, but it's going to definitely take away the eyes for sure. So I don't know about you guys sitting in your air conditioning watching this video, but I am hot, I'm sweating, I'm ready to get in the water, and it's probably gonna take my breath. You guys aren't gonna notice this. I do do a lot of swimming. As you can see, the water temperature is 63 degrees. So it's coming out of Lake Wachita, the bottom end of Lake Wachita. That's why it's so clean up here. So I'm gonna take off my flip-flops and we're gonna jump in 
officially jump in. You guys are jumping in with me. That's cold. Oh my gosh. That is for freezing. It's taking my breath. My skin must have been like too. I can't even talk. Man, you talk about getting cooled down instantly. Oh my gosh. It's freezing. My skin was like. 110 degrees I got some major shrinkage going on right now oh my gosh oh, one more dip of my head oh that cools you off quick Man. wow that cools you off really quick I mean super quick It was like gosh almighty see the thing about wolf bat that was probably five or six two and a half pounders in one gang and you have to see them before they see you i could have probably got one of them to bite but i wasn't turn it i wasn't there in time Dang on it like uh 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 all right guys this is our day off and a couple things i i didn't show day three and four practice because it was kind of repetitious like i was just going shallow with top water baits i was going uh deep looking out on some of the deep brush piles graphing it really wasn't like nothing else i could show you it was just me trying to figure it out figure out the right areas and really the best thing i got going is up the river where it was clean and probably that's where i'm going to spend most of my time at you guys saw that clear water the cold water i think it could have a good finish up there i, I don't know I, I got a lot to think about between now and blast off but guys go back make sure you hit that description that's 10 percent off he's 825 dollars for a lithium battery and all the competitors are 1200 to 1600 dollars for a battery he's 825 guys that's insane and he's giving you a 10 percent discount if you go through my for only two weeks now this is only a two-week discount 10 percent off a extremely uh, reasonable priced battery make sure you look in that description below but guys i appreciate your support i really do i appreciate everything y'all guys do for me i thank you for journeying with me this year on tour you guys got to see me win angler of the year if you're new to the channel go back and surf around some of the uh, older videos we got i appreciate you guys support and i'm out